Now, aluminium is in group three. I'm going to show you aluminium is in group three. Oh, why am I doing that? Aluminium is in group three. Right here, look, aluminium is in group three, has three electrons in its outer shell. Reacts with chlorine, which is in group seven. Okay, chlorine is right here in group seven, has seven electrons in its outer shell. To form aluminium chloride, this is an ionic compound, a simple molecule, and a metallic substance. Write the balanced equation for this reaction. In the balanced equation, Amy, not just the, the, the formula for aluminium chloride. Off you go, please, in the chat section. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to do this one. Okay, you've had 55 seconds. Uh, I see AO3, ooh, Ramesh, oh no. No, so I'm, this is for, this is generic. Uh, any equation is always generic, to be honest. And the fact that it involves chlorine, they could that they could put this as part of a, uh, a question on halogens because it involves chlorine and that involves your understanding of, do you know chlorine is in group seven? Do you know chlorine is a simple molecule? Do you know chlorine can react with metals to form ionic compounds? I've, I'm scavenger, I'm sorry. Other people can hear me, you know. So I, obviously I scavenger can't even hear me. So yeah, then you can't even hear what I'm saying. Um, this is what you need to do. 2Al plus 3Cl2 forms 2AlCl3. Now, the key here is to understand that aluminium is a metal, so it's always written as just a symbol by itself. So look, if you have a metal, it's always just written like this, Al or Mn or Fe or Co, every single time. Chlorine is a diatomic molecule, just like the rest of the halogens. So you need to know that fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine, when they form their molecules, it's F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, At2, every time. And there, because of that now, um, we're going to form an ionic compound. And what's the formula of aluminium chloride? Well, aluminium, the ion, is, has a charge of 3 plus. The chloride ion is 1 minus. Um, and therefore, we need free chloride ions to balance out the charge of aluminium. So it's AlCl3. Okay? And then because of that, we're going to balance this. 3 on the Cl and the Cl on the 2. They both go into what? What do the, what do the 2 and the 3 both go into? In the chat section, what do they both go into? Two and the three? Exactly. Thank you, Afwa. Six. Well done. Six. So therefore, we need to multiply the three on the CL by two. It's, oh, my goodness. It's my dishwasher in the back, which equals six. And then the three times the two and the CL to equal six. And then the rest is just two. And then, and yeah, and you put a two there. Okay. Um, I don't want to spend too long on that. Chlorine, another one. Let's see if you can learn from this now. Chlorine reacts with hydrogen to form hydrogen chloride. Write a balanced equation for this reaction. Okay, you need to know what hydrogen chloride is. Really quickly, what's the formula of hydrogen chloride? I don't want people to get this. It's good, it's lowercase l though. Well done, Yasmin. HCl, excellent. What's the formula for chlorine? What's the formula for a chlorine molecule, for a chlorine CO2? And what's the formula for hydrogen? Well done, H2. Off you, go, off you go now, please. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to do that now, please. 10 seconds. Ten. One. Ooh, Nandana, come on, you forgot a two. Well done to everybody. Excellent. It is um, CO2 plus H2 forms 2HCO. 